So hey guys, we're here with Rita Kellaway to chat about Sala and the beautiful pieces of art that you produce. So tell us, when did you first get involved? How did this, how did this happen? Okay, well, um, tracing back to when I spent my childhood years in um, the outback in yeah. Australia. Grew a love of the outdoors, um, geological rock formations, arid climates. Okay. Um, and then many years ago, I started at Henley and Grange Art Society doing a bit of glass fusing okay. and just got captured with the whole thing of working with glass. Yep. So then I planned my exit from my job and uh, went to full-time university um, yep. about five years ago. Right. Completed that and now here I am working with Kiln Form and Casting, Glass Casting. Awesome. Yeah. So the pieces in our office, um, tell us about those. Okay, so going on the geological sort of um, idea, I really look to represent geological forms and imagery in my okay. work. Yeah. And so with the pieces, I, you know, I'm pushing, trying to push the boundaries with different uh, colours and uh, abesis is really for me around the ocean. Okay. Um, ocean and sand and that sort of sea. combination yeah. with <laughs> the, uh, the sort of rippling effect of the, yeah. that we get in the sand. So that's cool. where my inspiration is coming from. Awesome. Yeah. Um, how long have you been involved in Sala? Uh, it's my second year, yeah. but this is my first year um, with the Henley community, awesome. which has been. Um, lovely organisation through Helen Lewis. You've got some beautiful pieces and an incredible range that you put together, so tell us a little bit about that. Just going back to that sort of process, yeah. I like to um, work with the abstract things, so I okay. look at some of the processes with glass, I use glass, a range of glass powders, yeah. coloured glass sheeting and clear glass sheeting and, and put them together, so really kind of work organically, Okay. so I like the sort of abstract organic nature of and seeing what comes out, I also have um, glass that reacts with different okay. colours. So, you know, it's sort of the joy of finding out how mm. it all comes together. And, cool. Yeah. So roughly how long does it take, the process? Okay, so each firing takes around 24 hours. Okay. So there's for, for something like a basis, there's yeah. four firings. Right. In between that, there's processes that involve sandblasting. Okay. So I go up to the jam factory, I don't have a sandblaster here, I've got the mm. jam factory and use there, some of their facilities. And then um, once I get to the final shape and form, then it's a matter of finishing it with cold working, okay. which is where you know you just polish it and do a whole range of things. So all together, probably around six days in total, but over a right. period of weeks. Wow, so in terms lot. Of, and you know working in between on different different projects. Yeah. So, cool. And what's what's yeah. your favourite piece that you've done so far? I have to say, Abesis is really? one of my favourites. Yeah. Um, oh, we've had such great comments in the office. Everyone's come in and said, wow. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. so Very cool. it's definitely one of my favourites. Um, I've also been working on some wall panels, so um, it's a bit hard to show the wall panels. But yeah, uh, yeah I've, I've got one that's going to be um, shown at the Waterhouse yeah. uh, Prize soon. So cool. I'm pretty um, excited about that. Lovely. Yeah. All right. For those watching, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, I've got an Instagram, yep. so they can Instagram or on my website I've got contact details and okay. I also have my work sold at the Jam Factory retail shop. Okay, cool. Yeah, but Lovely. People Great. can contact me and uh, I can do commissions awesome. as well. Lovely. Thanks, Rita. Thanks, guys. Speak soon.